cute. Wah. Yes, baby. <laughs> thrifting of the week. I'm currently thrifting for a few items for my cousin and I did find a couple things for myself as well and we'll just see what else I can find. I forgot my my little tripod so this is going to be a weird sort of thrift shop. So I'm going through some of the stuff in my cart right now. Um, this is something that I found. I've always loved these jackets the patchwork. They just always seem so um, rich to me. Um, and then this vintage vest. I already took it off the hangers because I'm getting ready to check out. Um, but I will show you what I've got when I got home when I get home and do a try on haul. Now some of this stuff is not gonna fit me. Um, because it might be too big because it's for my cousin, but we'll just see how it goes. Done with a little bit of, of a thrift, thrift trip to a family pathways. I'm trying to get um, enough uh, uniform bottoms, khakis, pants for my cousin. Uh, she's going to go work with the carnival over the summer and she didn't have the money to get them. So, I decided to get some stuff for her. And I got a couple of things for me, of course, because, you know, I can't go thrifting and not get something. This hat I saw, and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like, um, Diane Keaton, total Diane Keaton vibes, if you know who she is. But she's really kind of awesome, and I love this, this is probably going to be one of my go-to hats this summer. And then I found this. This is the first one I actually found. Maybe a little too big on my head, but that's okay. I've always loved hats. It's like, it's one of those things that just sort of transports you to another time and place just by adding a hat. And then I found this bag. I have a thing for... Um, fake bamboo handles or bamboo handles and any sort of Asian style fabric. This seems to be um, a Chinese print, but those colors are amazing. Now I'm going to go and get a smoothie bowl at the little co-op and eat that and then I'm going to drive home and then I'll have to exercise and then film <laughs> more videos. Ah. I did stop at Taco John's when I first got down here to grab um, a quick veggie burrito, veggie and bean burrito, because I was hungry, but I didn't want to get out of the car. And I have to figure out how to plan my meal. This week, I've been trying to go up to like maintenance calories. But I've been having a lot of days when I'm not sleeping, which means I have a lot of days when I'm not hungry. And that's really difficult. It's probably one of the most difficult parts of me trying to get healthy is having insomnia and not sleeping because I'm not hungry the next day. And when I eat, I end up feeling sick to my stomach. So I gotta feel, I gotta figure that out. Oh, this is one of the other things that I saw and I had to get this beautiful mint green satin pillowcase. It's definitely worn and used, but it just has that super, super soft, um, like satin can sometimes feel almost rough against your skin, but this is like really, really good quality satin. Um, it's gotta be at least 20 years old, I would think. So um, older, Older fabrics usually have a lot better quality, so I'm excited to put one of my pillows in there and sleep on that. Alright, so I'm going to go do that, and I'm going to drive home, and I'll see you guys again. And I'm kind of like, my hair isn't as curly as it should be, like it's 
it's getting some more curl like you can see you can see that hiding there look 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 I just need to have it layered a little bit then my curls would pop a little bit more um, anybody else with advice on getting naturally curly hair to actually form its curls again please let me know I would appreciate it and I will see you lovely people in a bit so for summer this is gonna be one of my one of my things I've got simple black capri pants on they are a little tight so I'm gonna have to really work hard on my ab exercises that I've been doing on my other channel um, I got pokey things on my floor. Um, just a simple tank top. I'm gonna have to find a bra that actually works for it. And this cute little, I'm sure it's like a swimsuit cover up, but I am digging this outfit. It's so simple, but like when it's hot, when it gets chilly, and this pattern is gorgeous. I love those colors and I love that print. It makes me feel like I'm somewhere tropical instead of Minnesota. Next outfit. Yeah, I think I think this will, this will be good. This will be good. So these are another pair of the capris that I found. I'm looking for stuff for my cousin. She says she's 17, 17, 18 in size. These are 17, 18. Sorry, I'm being attacked by mosquitoes, which means I'm attacking myself. <laughs> so there, they have front pockets and back pockets that are functional. These are not very deep, but for her job, I think they will be okay. This is another pair of the khaki capris that I found. These are also size 14, 16. Um, these might be better for her. They don't have back pockets. They do have front pockets, but they're not very deep. But these have a little bit more stretch. And if she is bigger than me, then these would probably be better because these are loose-ish on me. Like I could probably pull them down quite easily. So next pair. So this is a shorter pair. They hit me on the knees so they'll hit just above the knee or a little bit a little bit higher on the thigh for her because she is a few inches taller than me. Um, they should fit her. There's no stretch in these so these might not be okay for her. If not they seem to be relatively okay for me. So this is the next pair of khakis. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I bought these hoping to be able to keep them for myself because I really like this button detail here on the, the pockets. And they fit comfortably. Um, I thought they'd be a little tight, but not so bad. I think my walking on the treadmill is helping to smooth this out a little bit, which means shorts will fit me a little bit better. And these do have functional pockets with the little flaps. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of vibing with these. Next pair. Okay. So these are a pair of jean shorts, longer leg jean shorts. Um, I can't get the zipper all the way up, so I'm covering it. And I kind of, I kind of do like the way my tush looks in them. Um, but yeah, these I kind of, kind of found for myself. This will give me, if I do one of the pairs of khaki and one of the pairs of black shorts, that will give me three pairs of shorts for summer, which is crazy. And it's really hot where I am right now, so I'm sweating and my hair is going all bunches of crazy next pair 
So this is a pair of capris. Um, the pa the black fabric is actually slightly patterned. Again, they they're making my tush look really nice. Um, oh, and these are the ones. They do have functional pockets, but nobody ever opened them. So the, the threading is still, or the basing stitch to keep them closed during transport is still closed on both pockets. Um, the front pockets are fairly deep. They're about enough space to fit a cell phone. So yeah, I'm gonna try on one of the shirts that I got. Give me one second. Okay, this, I am so happy I, I picked this up just it's a cute little gingham um really light flowy fabric off the shoulder with a little bit of um it's not actually smocking it's just elastic thread a little bit of elastic here this outfit gives me like 1940s 1950s um going to grandma's house for pie sort of feel and I had a top fairly similar to this when I was like nine, I think. So several decades ago, <laughs> but I am totally digging this. Okay, next, let's see, next shirt, next shirt. So I, when I saw this shirt, I was like, I think I really kind of like that because it's got this play on like, a sport uh, like a sport t-shirt um with the solid lines on the shoulder but it's definitely a very feminine um feminine print the polka dots with the roses and the black it makes <sighs> okay so this i saw this jacket within a couple seconds of me walking into the store and i went right to it and i grabbed it because i knew i wanted it i have always wanted a patchwork jacket like this with all of the beautiful, um, all of these beautiful printed fabrics. Actually, this is one, a vest that I got today. It is vintage. I think it's probably late seventies, early eighties. Um, I would probably wear it like this, this color shirt is actually pretty much perfect for it. And I think this one might be a little more purple. Yeah, that might be a little bit more purple, so. But I think that's really cute. It's a nice, nice casual length. So these, I'm in love with. Absolutely, completely in love with these. They're soft. Um, no pockets. That's the old, they're only downfall, but they're soft. They are comfortable and who doesn't love checkered pants? I mean, seriously, it's a beautiful tartan, plaid tartan. It's a beautiful plaid. This I got to work out in. Um, the pants are comfy and they have, nah, they have deep pockets, but not deep pockets. And I loved this tank top, or should it be a halter top? No, racer back tank. There we go. Not a halter top. Um, but it's loose and flowy and it's comfortable and it's like that super stretchy, lightweight cotton. These are slightly heathered. This one on right now, but this is another top that I got for working out. Um, I just like the gray with the pop of like the fluorescent orange. There we go, the flowers, so pretty, 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 pretty. But this is a really pretty, um, kind of a mint, a mint green satin um, pillowcase. This I found a, um, 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 napkins, but I loved that print and I thought it might be cute. Thrift flipped in some way. I'm not um, absolutely huge and beautiful tablecloth and um if you know who she is Makara tours she just did 
a, a corset top out of a pillowcase and I thought this I could probably do a corset top and a dress or something to go with it and make a whole outfit. Have a, if you've been on my channel at all, you know that I have a thing for um, wooden handles or fake wooden handles. These are supposed to look like bamboo and anything with an Asian print. This is actually looks like a Chinese, Chinese style print. Um, and the colors again are beautiful. I mean, the colors are like this. They're like that, the blue with the, the maroons and the burgundies and gold. Love it. So excited about that. So this is, I'm so happy. Um, just a simple like column dress with a little bit of elastic, um, around the, for the waist, which can come down or come up. I kind of like it with a little bit of an empire sort of, empire waist sort of feel. And okay, so this is kind of me living my movie star dreams. Um, it's just a simple knit dress, uh, empire waist again. It hits me just below the knee. It has, sh um, half sleeves. I'm losing my words. But yeah, uh, short sleeves, but they hit me at the elbow. And then this hat. When I saw it, I'm like, it reminds me of Diane Keaton, and I love Diane Keaton because she's just awesome. Okay, so this is the last dress, and this hits me right at the knees or right below the knees. Oops. Watch out, Henry boy. And I just thought it's it's nice, um, lightweight cotton, and I thought, you know, pair it with a cute little men's, men's wear hat sort of thing. Um, yeah, and oh, oh. The little sandals that I got to wear with it, they fit me perfectly, which is kind of crazy. I rarely ever find cute little espadrille sort of sandals that fit me so well. But I saw this little bag, so very cute. I love the embroidery on the side, and it's just a simple little, simple little cute bag. And then this outfit, skirt outfit is vintage but I just loved these colors the fuchsia and the green against the brown not gonna be able to hold that up and with the little top there with this um, detailing of um, it's, um, it's almost like a pin tuck sort of detail there but that is my first uh first major thrift haul of the season and i'm kind of excited